Today on Cooking with a Lion, we'll be making an incredible spice crusted chicken dish with mashed, roasted sweet potatoes, plus a seasonal relish that's gonna blow your mind. And it's all happening right now. Let's get started. The foundation for this lovely dish is sweet potato. We're not gonna do anything crazy because sweet potato by itself has so much wonderful flavor. We're gonna add a bit of extra virgin olive oil so that it browns a little bit quicker. About half of a teaspoon of kosher salt and freshly ground black pepper. Use your hand, it's fine. Just mix it on up. And I've already peeled the sweet potatoes. It's about a third of an inch to a half inch cubes. Don't go crazy, okay? This is just gonna be the bed, the foundation for cooking the spice crusted chicken. So that is ready. Spice crusted. Now this is boneless skin off chicken thighs. So we're gonna make like a little crust so that when you bite through to the silkiness and deliciousness of the uh, chicken, you have this wonderful crust and flavor on the outside. What spices exactly? Quite a few spices. We have fennel, cumin, coriander, salt, and pepper, and a little bit of granulated sugar. We also want a little punch, so a little bit of heat. That's where garlic comes into play. And I hope you guys like garlic. There is a fair amount of it in there, okay? It's a pound and a half of boneless, skinless chicken breast, so it is distributed fairly evenly. Speaking of distributed fairly evenly, just go ahead and use your hands. This hand is still dry, okay? There's nothing that your hands can't do that, say, a fork or a spoon can do. Okay, so that's why I'm using this. And then to wet it up just a little bit, I'm gonna add a bit of extra virgin olive oil, about two tablespoons of that, and a touch of sherry vinegar, okay? And that vinegar, just a splash, will help cut through the fat. It'll actually liven up a lot of the spices we have in here. That looks great. That looks really, really good. So much flavor. And we're gonna take all that flavor and envelop these beautiful boneless skinless chicken thighs. Again, this hand is still dry and still clean, so we're just gonna really work these spices all over, all sides, in and out of these chicken thighs. So when they roast, the sugar kind of helps get a little caramelization going and really uh, helps attribute to that wonderful crust that we'll see on the outside when we're done. I can't believe it's not cooked already because it just smells so wonderful with all those spices. So we have the sweet potatoes that make up the bed, literally make up the bed, where the chicken will go on top. As far as the actual cooking portion of this recipe, it's one sheet pan. Really easy cleanup, and I have a uh, sheet pan that is lined with parchment paper and not foil. Why not? Because sweet potatoes have a tendency to stick to foil, so I like to stay with parchment paper. Nice and even. And then the spice crusted chicken usually has a thicker side, right? This thicker portion or bigger portion, and then a smaller portion. I like to have the thicker portions toward the corners of the sheet pan. And the reason for that is because as you're oven cooks, the heat comes up and sort of envelops the corners. And so the thicker portion, being toward the corners, will cook faster or make the whole thing cook more even. Okay? That looks good. And then that's a little guy, so we can just go right in the middle. Now I have the oven preheated already to 400 degrees. I'm gonna pop this in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes, rotating halfway through, and your kitchen is gonna smell amazing. While the chicken is happily roasting in the oven, we're gonna make a really simple relish. Simple, but crazy, crazy flavorful. It's a seasonal relish because we have, well, fresh pomegranate seeds. They'll go in. Just the color on this alone, just this relish is, is you just can't stop staring at it and you can't stop eating it. The second ingredient is uh, roasted, salted, but finely chopped pecans. Okay. They go in. And the pecans, of course, provide this buttery and slightly crunchy, a little bit salty flavor, okay? Then we have fresh herbs. They play a really important role. We have finely chopped 
flat leaf Italian parsley and also finely chopped mint. In. Then a little bit of crunch, but like a softer crunch and a little bit of heat all in one. This is a small dice of shallot. That goes in. And orange zest. Yes, raw orange zest. Brings so much flavor on board. That goes in too. You definitely want to season this. So you have uh, about a quarter teaspoon each of kosher salt and freshly ground black pepper. And something we've already used before, which is cherry vinegar. We'll do two teaspoons of that and two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, just enough to bind the whole thing together. So much flavor, really simple. Using ingredients that you probably have in your refrigerator and pantry right now. And if you've never made a relish like this, I, I, I swear to you, you will be absolutely blown away. And that's it, relish is done. Now we just have to kind of kick back, maybe have a cup of coffee and wait for that chicken to finish cooking. If you could only smell this, it smells so wonderful. The chicken looks lovely, it has that wonderful crust, but I wanna set this to the side. I don't want it to cook anymore. Just a little side plate. And when you look at the sweet potato, which we diced pretty small, you can tell how they've shrunk a little bit. They've actually gotten a little bit of color, which is wonderful because in contrast when you boil them, when you roast them, they just get so much more flavor. You intensify that sweetness. What I want to do is pour this all in a large bowl, and then I'm going to give it a quick mash. Why? Why a mash? Well, I like a little bit of a play off of that texture. So let's say it's a rustic mash, shall we? There we are. That looks good. Just rustic. You know, we're all friends here. Now that this is ready, it's time to plate. So we already have this rustic mashed sweet potatoes. This goes on the bottom. That looks lovely. All right, kind of smush it down a little bit because you want a wonderful landing place for this chicken. This crusted chicken, which is just wonderful. You know, the great thing about using the boneless, skinless chicken thighs. It's already gonna be juicy. If you add more flavor to that, Bob Jonko, it's gonna be so good. Then we have this wonderful relish, the seasonal relish. This goes right over top. Holy And that's it, super fast. Very minimal amounts of effort to make something so wonderful. And just look at it. It's so, <laughs> it's just like, seasonal and beautiful and pretty. It says like autumnal, almost holiday. Just by looking at it, I haven't even taken a bite yet. But yeah, of course, now's the time to go ahead and do that. A little bit of everything. It's gonna be beautiful. You know in movies where they slam on the table because something's so good? Slam! The interesting thing about this dish is nothing's really special about any of the original individual ingredients, but together, the way they sing, there's like this incredible chorus line of flavors going on in my mouth. You have the sweet potato, which you're like, oh, it's just sweet potato. What kind of chef -y thing did you do? We roasted it. Yes, you intensify the sweetness. And then you have the chicken. Stop it, just stop it. The garlic is like, yeah, but then all the spices are just like, ah, some warmth that comes through the fennel and the cumin, holy moly. It's just like such a lovely variety of flavors and textures. But to be honest, that said, it's all about this relish. The relish just has this pop of the pomegranate seed, which is like just bouncing off of the nuttiness and the crunch of the pecan, which I'm still getting, I'm still getting that flavor. And then the freshness, the herbaceousness of that mint and parsley is lovely. But it's that smell, it's the citrus, it's that orange zest. That it's just like so wonderful, it's warm. But then you have the acidity, that just brings it all up with that cherry vinegar, which is also on the chicken and in the relish. My advice to you, and this is fair warning, 
is make yourself a plate and get to the dinner table before taking the first bite. Because I have been known with this dish to stand here and just tromp right through the whole thing without even making it to the dinner table. You've been advised, you've been warned, now the choice is yours. Cheers.